Okay, next um, we, we have a presentation um, on how to avoid food waste by making the food that is, is over, uh, left over, reusable. Use it in a, in a different way and make it usable so that it doesn't end up as, as food waste in the first place. And I think it's a, it's a very interesting story on how to use digital technology in that, in that space to actually combine and, and bring together different parties uh, in, in that setup. And it, it's actually one of, one of my favorite um, when, when it comes to, uh, to basically in, in the restaurant space and in, in, the, in the food space in, in making food reusable. Sully, if you want to join me. Promise to go to the next slide. Excellent. Here you go. Here you go. Thanks. Okay. Um, nice to meet you. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, my name is Sauli. I'm the CEO of Rescue. Um, let's go back a quite a bit. Um, this is not the our basic investor pitch. Um, they gave me parameters or instructions what to deliver today. So I'm going to tell uh, quickly about who we are, what we do, and um, then sort of the key takeaway is uh, how we approach tech in our domain. We're not going to do code review or whatnot, so I'm going to deliver more or less like what's our mindset when it comes to uh, developing our platform and utilizing tech. Um, 1.6 years. Um, that's how long it takes for our planet to reproduce the resources that we use within a year. Uh, we can argue about the multiplier, but it's definitely bigger than one. So there's a problem, and uh, food plays a massive role in that one. Um, approximately 11 million tons goes into trash bin in EU alone annually from food service sector. And uh, that's where we come in, and that's where we focus. Um, we are hyper-local and time-sensitive online marketplace that matches um, the food from restaurants, delis, cafes, and grocery stores that would otherwise go to waste bin to nearby users. That's us. So, in a nutshell, you're a restaurant owner, there's a surplus happening, instead of throwing that food into a bin, you publish that portion or X amount of portions in our platform. Nearby users get notified, they purchase the food through our app, and then pick it up from the restaurant, and that's it. In terms of value props, again, very straightforward. For the user, you get a quality meal with a discount and do some good for the planet. And then for the partner, as in, again, delis, cafes, groceries, stores, and restaurants, you get extra revenue from something that would have actually gone otherwise to a waste bin. You get actually new customers, and most importantly, you actually do something good for the planet. Um, we are about 2.5 years old. Um, so far, we have rescued about 720,000 portions. Um, operating in three countries, and uh, yeah, those that actually start using us, both restaurants and partners, really love us and, and actually retain, uh, become retain, retained uh, partners and users. Uh, but now coming to the beef, so what we have actually learned, um, that 720,000 portions rescued sums up to about 300k uh, in terms of kilograms of food uh, saved, saved, again, 1.8 billion kilograms of CO2 saved, and that sums up to about 14 million kilo, 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 kilometers of travel by car, which again sums up to around 360 times around the world. Uh, question is, are these guiding indicators for us? Do these actually help us by developing our tech and going uh, nearer to our uh, winning aspiration, which is actually uh, create zero food waste communities? Um, answer is no. So this is in a way the beef now. 
and this is something that we have learned by heart. Uh, we were about 45 people about a year ago, now we're 14 people in terms of head count. Uh, with 45 people, it was a very complex environment to actually maintain and manage and help actually every single employee and team member to make right decisions every single day in a very uh, quick environment. And even with 14, that's very difficult. So, uh, lacking the indicators, so things that actually don't help us any way to develop uh, our platform and actually utilize the tech revenue, doesn't help at all. Uh, how much food we have actually saved, doesn't help at all. How many offers there are actually available at the moment, doesn't help at all. So, this is sort of the takeaway that actually helps uh, me and rest of the management team of every single employee in our company to actually make their work a bit better and actually make autonomous decisions every single day, which again comes down to how we, how we actually develop the tech and how we utilize the tech uh, in, in our company. So these are something that we have actually developed uh, over those 2.5 years, and these are the something that we actually follow this is just part of that. Uh, what really helps, for example, our um, user side on a tech team, what they actually follow every single day, what's their leading indicator that actually tells whether they've actually done their work good or bad. It's called, for example, demand fulfillment ratio. Stupid word. Uh -huh. But it, what it means is that a uh, percentage of new registered users uh, weekly registered users who have more than 10 offers available within one kilometer radius. Okay, that probably doesn't help with your companies or anyway in the, in the future, but the point behind that one is that um, that when it comes to utilizing tech in our very sustainable mission, um, we rather do right things wrong than wrong things right. Okay, and it comes down to uh, breaking down those lacking indicators to very actionable uh, leading indicators, which, for example, the demand fulfillment ratio is and customers' full lead time, um, daily or weekly usage from partner uh, side, well, how much they actually utilize our, our platform. Uh, so, key takeaways of how tech should be then utilized, how we do it, is that define your why. Our why is to create zero food waste communities. So, when it comes to actually uh, decision, in our team, let's say that uh, should we focus more on actually making uh, the user experience better for the users or actually developing something on the partner side that actually reduces the surplus even before they can actually push it to our platform. So our why actually tells the uh, decision already beforehand. So we focus on actually um, deleting our business case, to be honest, as an example. Align everything around the customer. Yeah, fancy sentence and whatnot, but it really, really matters. It, it's, it matters so much. Uh, decide to understand the customers and their problems. Not just want to or understand, but really, really decide and embed that specific mindset and analogy within the company and every single employee that ever actually comes in. Uh, gather data from day zero. Again, something that we have learned by heart. We started doing that way, way too late. Uh, again, align your work and every single employee's work around those leading indicators and build the company and team around the same mindset. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you.
Perfect. Thanks, Charlie. I, I think this is a really, really good way of showing how, how tech can be used. And I mean, this is all tech at, at the end of the day by bringing together uh, people on, on both sides of, of that marketplace. And that, that's exactly my question. I mean, you, you created a two-sided marketplace. And there's traditionally the chicken and egg problem. Either you have offers, you have demand, or you have supply. Um, but both at the same time is very really seldom. How do you manage that in the beginning? How did you create the demand and the supply at the same time in a, in a space that's not an all that common space? I mean, there wasn't uh, already 100 different known business models out there that, that people were familiar with. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a big question. And uh, I think every single marketplace or two-sided two marketplace actually tries to figure that, tries to figure that out. Uh, we start from the offering. Again, our why is to actually uh, bring that surplus food into a zero, but it uh, takes actually time, so we still have that offering. So we start from, from partners. And uh, we know how many partners we need within X kilometer radius, and we know what kind of partners we need in the first phase, what kind of partners we need in the second phase, and so on, to then uh, provide the necessary offering for, for those early adopters that we have then on that given marketplace. Mm -hmm. okay, cool. Thanks. Any questions here in the room? Yeah. Right there. Okay, so, so what sort of things are you doing for the partners to help them reduce the waste that's even available to go to, customer, to customers? Uh, yeah, that's something that we um, actually started about six months ago. It's not, not that uh, long period. Um, before that, we had just sales channel to that surplus food. Yeah. Nowadays, we are, for example, developing resource and efficiency calculator. Yeah. So they can actually predict the amount of food that they need to actually produce. Yeah. And then we can actually offer them, based on that data, the business case of how they should, for example, utilize us and so on. That's one example. So do you think that will be the kind of the long term future in the end in the end, as you said earlier, of deleting your own business case, in the end there won't be anything to give to people because it'll all be people will plan out what they produce for people very accurately, so there won't be any waste. Uh, yes, but of course like uh, when it comes to reducing surplus food, uh, what our platform also can do is that you can actually pick up those portions before the manager or the restaurant actually decides that these are actually surplus food portions. But uh, in a nutshell, or simplify, yes, to your question. Yeah, because I guess, you know, with the best control system in the world, you won't always get it perfect, there'll always be some surplus. Yeah. To, to, if you want to meet people's kind of 100% customer expectation of getting, always getting what you have on your menu. Was there a question? No, no, it was just <laughs> the question. No. Yeah, 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 but yeah, agreed, agreed. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have about 65% sales percentage, about that, yeah. Nice. But there's still uh, room left to grow and do things better, but yeah. I expect a lot less actually, that's yeah. really impressive. Yeah, but uh, we are in a way supply driven, whereas for example, other food platforms, Foodora and whatnot, those are demand driven, mm -hmm. so uh, it's a different kind of case for us. So. Any other questions? Any plans to use this as a demand supply platform for the businesses? Sorry? To use this information as demand supply uh, platform for the businesses. For the, for the partners? Uh, for the restaurants? Yes. Uh, do you let them to utilize the data? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, of course. For example, when it comes to uh, the efficiency and, and resource allocation, uh, we can actually uh, leverage our data to actually help them to do their work better and thus actually reduce uh, the, the surplus food. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Sal. Thanks.